I have to tell you, we we really loved seeing you and your pal Black China, now Angela White. Mm -hmm. She came to so many of the slut walks. You guys walked many red carpets together. Mm -hmm. I feel like I haven't seen the two of you together in a long time. Are you still close? Are you still pals? So we weren't actually for a long time. We oh. had like a we had like a falling out, oh. me and China. But I'm happy to say that I was with her all day yesterday. <laughs> it's really nice to have her back in my life. I missed her so much. I mean, there were nights that I, I've cried for China because she was like a sister to me. Okay, so what happened? You seemed like you were thick as thieves. You had similar missions. You were very like-minded. Yeah. What happened? Um, I think that we both just had to get our lives together so we could circle back and be better than ever. And that's what we did. Okay. Yep. So you went through some ish. Mm -hmm. How did you get back to this place? We just saw each other in person. And, and was it like no time had passed? It was like, it was like I have my sister back. Wow. Like that. I love that you say that because she's been doing a lot of work on herself. She's in an era of reinvention. She yeah. is embracing the all natural. What do you make of that big I'm, lifestyle shift? I'm proud of her. I'm yeah. so proud of her. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it, she's not doing this for any other reason besides the fact that it makes her happy. And I think that's a great place to be. So can we expect more Angela White and Amber Rose moments? Yes. Okay, so the, the gang is back together. For sure. Are you working on anything together? We we worked all day yesterday together. Filming content? Yes. And, okay, so are we gonna get all the behind the scenes on this decade of friendship, the ups and the downs? Is that stuff that you guys discussed? I think so. I think I think we're, we're in talks about doing that. Again, she's... <laughs> She's very reserved as well. We've been so misunderstood for so many years and things will come out on the internet and we'll just stay quiet. And we'll just be like, ah, just let them think what they want. You know, we at least we have each other. Mm -hmm. um, and then that was such a buildup over the years where it became like, well, Black China's like this and Amber's like this and they're like that. And we just sit back and we're like, oh my God, we're so not those girls. We're not like that at all. So, We're actually just introverted, cool, like just chill type of people. You know, I spoke with her and one thing that I loved that she said was that she does not want Dream to be in showbiz until she's 18. Same. I feel like just in general, my kids are gonna be like kind of burnt out from, you know, like the TVs and paparazzi and this and that. Like I like for them to be like sheltered and um, have like their imagination. That's really important for me because we grow up, the kids grow up so fast. You only, childhood is so short, it's so short. What do you make of that? And do you have the same rule for your kids? Same exact rule. Really? Same exact rule, yeah. They can pick and choose when they're older if that's something that they want to pursue. But right now it's school, extracurricular, sports, and instruments. Wow. Is this stuff that you and Angela now can talk about? Because you have kids that are about the same age. Yeah. Right? So King and Bash are six months apart. Wow. Yeah. And then Dream is just a little younger. A little older than Slash. Slash. Right. Yeah. Do you lean on her? for like, what do you think of this? Or what do you think of this? And do you guys give each other like mom advice? Yeah, totally. I mean, we're literally moms 24 yeah. hours a day. So yeah. Wow. Well, I'm so Absolutely. happy that I don't know what happened in the past. Seems like you're keeping that close to the vest. Yeah. But I'm happy that you're at this, this better place with her. Same. What is the thing from your past that you were most excited you have put in the past and you're in this place today? Everything. Really? Not one thing that stands out? No, I, I'm just happy. I just turned 40. Yeah. I'm growing my hair out. Yes. You know, I'm not like ball headed Amber anymore. Is it fair to say this is a brand new Amber Rose? A rebirth of Amber Rose? I think Rose? this has always been me. And I think that I held on to my buzz cut for a long time. Cause I was like, who is Amber Rose without the haircut? You know, like, am I still Amber Rose without the haircut? And I felt like, you know, it, when I started growing my hair out and I would go outside, people wouldn't recognize me as much. Do and you that, like that? It was different for me. You know what I mean? Because having the, the haircut, it's always like, that's Amber Rose. Can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? Yeah, and then super recognizable. Yeah. I was like a walking light bulb, you know? <laughs> and then And now do you feel like you get a little more anonymity, a little more privacy? I do, but it's I, I battle with that because I I'm not as recognizable 
And that's what I've been used to for the past 14 years. Mm. So it's like a catch-22, you know? Is this here to stay, or do you think you'll ever go back to that original classic Amber look? I'm not ever shaving my head again. Really? No, I Why? don't. I had it for 20 years, babe. 20 years, and any time that I did change my hair, I like put on a wig or something like that, but underneath, I, was, I still have my buzz cut. Um, and I'm a girl. Yeah, I just want to experiment and uh, just try new things. But I'm, I'm not going back to that. I don't want to go backwards at all. I only want to move forward. In all aspects of your life. Absolutely. Yes. Is this your favorite look that you've ever rocked? So far, I, yeah. I like it, yeah. I mean, I love my buzz cut, I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna but... say, does it like bring up mixed emotions for you, the buzz cut? Or or do you look back and go like, I was a trendsetter and an innovator? Listen, my buzz cut, I've given that to the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's girls all over the world that still rock that style. I'm, all my, I have a lot of fans all over the world. They still send me pictures um, and I love them for that, mm -hmm. you know? But um, I gave that to them. They, they can have that. that. That is my gift to them. That entire look, the black shades, the buzz cut. Yeah. I gave that to my fans, oh. so. Well, that was your iconic look then. Yeah. And this is your iconic look now. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. And I love this forehead tattoo. <laughs> it's Thank you. It, what a beautiful tribute to the two most special people in your life. Thank you. Where did the decision come from to get Bash and Slash tattooed on your face? I'm just a rebel, man. I'm like a rock star. <laughs> I just Did you think about it for a while? Oh, or was this impulsive? Totally. Oh, no, no, no. No. We I, thought about this. So, quick story. Yeah. I had this stencil on my forehead for about 4 days, 5 days to live with it. To live with it, mm -hmm. you know, and then it started fading after a while. But I, I would just walk past the mirrors. I would look, you know, try to live with it before I actually got it done and I was like this is like my my crown. I love tattoos. Um, I felt like, you know, uh, usually women wouldn't do this, so it kind of made me want to do it more. Uh, You're I'm a rebel, rebel, like you said, yeah. yes. Pushing the envelope. I am. And um, I enjoy pissing people off as well. It's pretty fun. <laughs> Listen, it's your body, your choice. It should not piss anybody off. Yeah, if I If you're happy it with anyway. it, we're happy with it. Yeah. Your friend, Angela White, she's getting a lot of the tattoos removed. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about all your tattoos? Do you still love all of them? I love all my tattoos. So they're here to stay? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> nope. What's in the ocean? Water. Water. <laughs> you have done so much mm -hmm. in your short 40 years. You've hosted a talk show, you've written a book, you did Dancing with the Stars, you're a known philanthropist. What is the next step in the Amber Rose empire? I think I want to get into acting. I've, really? I've been offered a few acting roles and I've always been very intimidated. I've done a couple movies here and there, like smaller parts, mm -hmm. but I think I'm just gonna j jump on board and, and try it. I, well, it literally has been coming to me like, hey, do you want to be in this? Do you want to audition for this? Do you want to try this? And I'm like, oh, I'm scared, but I, I think I'm going to do it. Okay, so first things first, what are these roles that are coming to you? Is it anything I that can't tell you. is there anything that we would know? Like oh, a yes. role that you said no to? You would know. It's something like so far out, you would never expect it. Wow. Yeah. Okay, a dream role or a dream co-star that you would love to work opposite? I'll tell you my favorite actress is Juliette Lewis. Oh, do you watch Yellow favorite. Jackets? Yes. Amazing. Love her, obsessed. Do you know her? She follows me on Instagram, I'm, I'm like so excited. Oh my gosh, so maybe pick her brain a little? And... Yeah, maybe. Oh, we gotta get you on Yellow Jackets season three. <laughs> I know. You could be like one of the twisted survivors who's out there in the wilderness. Talk about a transformation. Yeah, that would be so much fun. Okay, so. Yeah, hit me up, Yellow Jackets. <laughs> <laughs>